What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. We're doing my top carried knives of April. Let's get into it. All right, as you can see, I got my little mini Arc Company knife roll. I love this because it actually comes in handy for vacation and then like days today, like today, when I don't want to take my entire collection in the cases down here because not everything's in the same case. This comes in really handy, especially for like top fives. So I really love that one. It's a nice roll, really well done, made in the USA. I love to sponsor good people with good products that stand behind them. All right. That is not a plug. I am not sponsored. I just like to share the love. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the number five most carried knife for the month of April. And I think this is gonna surprise some folks. That's the Migaron Morial. I love this knife a bunch. As you can see, it is getting a ton of use. Um, I can't talk enough about it. The damage here all over uh, the edges and the scratches and everything like that is because I got a double wall cardboard. Well, not the whole thing, but it had some double wall cardboard in the box when I ordered the new hitch for my SUV to take my mountain bikes to the trails and uh, going through the edge. And in the video, I think I did the review of I couldn't quite get it. Uh, razor sharp so I did go ahead and put it on the KME and we are good to go now really nice uh, edge came back on the KME 14c 28 in is such a great steel to work with but this is a under $50 knife you get G10 on full steel liners so it's very rigid you get a titanium pocket clip very good jimping here on the scales themselves giving you really good ergos nice contouring which really help with the ergonomics on this knife as well you can move back you can choke up because you got a nice forward finger choil that allows for the full hand to fit in there and this is how i handled the majority of breaking down that cardboard box so it could fit into my recycling bin um, you do have hollowed out liners in here as well before i close it that helps reduce the weight so it carries very nicely really nice action this one's still riding on the factory bearings and it is very smooth almost a guillotine it is very smooth on the clothes the keyhole shape in the blade is very nice for thumb hole flicks and reverse flicks and with no flipper tab again keeping the profile nice and clean simple carry but such a great knife very well built i like this one a lot even though it is a little bit of a smaller knife because it does have that ford finger choil it has plenty of space and room for me to grip onto um, the coating obviously has held up pretty well considering what i've put the knife itself through i really just like this one and i kind of want to keep it in the collection because it's a great beater that feels like it punches above its pay grade like it's really really well done and i like it a lot so i'm planning on keeping it and possibly even making it like a channel comparison knife. Keep it in the budget realm. Another knife that feels like it punches above its pay grade is going to be the Civivi Sokoki. I love this micarta. I did take the scales off and sand it down a little bit to make them just a little bit smoother. So mine doesn't have the roughage on it. It's just very smooth and tacky and very comfortable. You have this like swoop here and it really does push the fingers out and make it feel chunky in hand, which for me is great because I love the way that feels ergonomically on the hand. It's just hand melting ergonomics on here. Again, you're getting, let me see if I can find it, 14C, uh, 28N. Hopefully I'm able to get that at a good angle to where you can see that. So another great budget knife with a really solid steel on it really comfortable ergos the access to the lock bar is a little tight if you like to come in from the side but it's not awful because they do throw a ton of jimping right on the corner's edge here and that allows you to really grab onto that to push through if you like to close it like that if you do the top close it's really good for that you get your whole thumb on there and you can slide it over and bring the finger over to start the close and then the same thing here if you like to pull up on the lock bar 
really nice. The jimping is okay for the front flipper, but really what makes that work is going to be that really tall part of the flipper tab. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my grip on the pocket clip, but you just really gotta give it a little bit of gas. Mine probably could have the detent tuned a little bit more. Um, I did a little tuning when I got it. I tried to make it still feel good for thumb deployment on the studs, the reverse flick on the studs and with the flipper tab, but it still feels like it's just a tad light on that front flipper tab. It works, but it feels like it could be held just a little bit better in place. That'd probably be my one gripe. The other one would be the pocket clip. I just would like to see, I don't know, just something a little bit better on the Civivis since we now have the Sin Cuts that have this same pocket clip on it. Um, I just would like to see, I don't know. I mean, look what Migaron's doing. They're doing a titanium milled pocket clip on their knife and it's reversible. Like, can we just do that instead? Cause I think, it, I think they could do it. I think they could do it with minimal influence on cost, probably a couple bucks more. Um, but with a titanium clip and the premium material, the premium material, sorry, <clears throat> with their build quality, it would be really, really good. The action on this, even with the light blade, is really smooth. They, I mean, again, that's a, the other reason I didn't want to up uh, tune up the detent too much is because I didn't want to lose that really smooth action on this one. But this just feels like a nicer knife than what you're paying for as far as the money. Yeah, it's 14C28 in, and it's my Carta, which is that premium budget, like the top end of the budget line but it just feels and to me it looks so much nicer i really just love the simple looks the constant contour along the back with a little bit of a sharp downhill when you get towards the middle of the scale really really good on here i love that they did the same material backspacer too three quarter length i like that design and it is really thin and slicey. Just a great knife and a great design by Mr. Laconico and Civivi just executed so, so well. All right, coming in at number three, and it definitely would have been higher if I didn't pick it up in the month of April, is going to be my Koenig Arius. I did get the non-flipper with the pattern designed on here. Really nice pocket knife, USA made, premium materials and a premium build. This has perfection written all over it. It has such a good detent and the action whew, is guillotine. Like I can't even stop the knife from closing to show the action on camera. It happens so, so fast, <laughs> so fast. And it is such a satisfying sound on this knife too. Oh man, fit and finish on this one, so good as well. I love the looks of it. The anodized hardware against the, I would just call it what, sandblasted, stonewashed. I don't even know what you would call that finish. I guess it's stonewashed. Um, it looks so good. You got milling on the inside here for weight reduction. You can see clear through to the back spacer. Really beautiful colorway too. Pocket clip works good. I was worried about it catching, but for whatever reason, I'm able to get it out of the pocket fine. And I think part of that is because of how much is behind the relief cut that allows it to still go in and out of the pocket ni nicely. Really nice jimping here on the lock bar. And you have a little bit of a knockdown with some milling here to keep it flat. So you can come in from the side, no problem. You can do the same top relief Oops, so much action there that it actually starts to open back up while doing that. And then the same thing here with the, oof, you gotta get your hand out of there quick, with the pull up on the lock bar, really thin blade, nice thin stock, really thin hollow grind. I mean, it's not a thin stock, but it's, it's average as far as the stock's concerned, but that hollow grind is super, super, super thin. Just a wonderful knife, really like that one a lot. I think it would have ended up higher on the list in April if I hadn't picked it up in the month of April. Coming in at number two, this probably would not surprise anyone that watches my channel regularly. That's gonna be the EMP EDC Relative. The Relative has a beautiful milling pattern on the handle, really comfortable ergonomics, 
It is chamfered all around the knife, so really well knocked down. You don't get a ton of hot spots. Titanium backspacer, really well done pocket clip. I think the only thing I would have liked to see is just a little bit, the flat spot's there, but I feel like because there's ribbing beside it and you have the relief cuts beside it, I still experience the bumps when it comes out of the pocket. Um, I wasn't seeing before that there is a flat spot. I kept saying a flat spot would do better. And then I caught it in the right light one day because the relief cuts and the um, jigging here through throw it off and make it look like it goes all the way through that's how tight the tolerance is on there i was completely fooled by that but it actually does have a flat spot on there um it's just i think that the material the thick material on the jeans still hangs on to a little bit of the ribbing so maybe have it go in a little bit further the flat spot i think that might alleviate the problem that i'm experiencing with my jeans Really nice finishes on all of the hardware. Best Tech did a phenomenal job. You have a nice pill hole shape here for the deployments. Works really good for the reverse flick, the thumb flick, and you have a fuller here. So if you kind of like to lay your finger down and just kick it out like so, um, because you get a little more strength out of that type of deployment, works really well. Now the jumping on here is really well done. It is very grippy almost like it is borderline almost too much but it's not so it's right in what i would call perfect jumping and it's really well done works for that front flipper and it's nice when you gotta use that for detailed work and you're going out here on the jumping so i love that it's just basically full length jumping here because it works really well when you're controlling the tip of the blade trying to do some work and you're choked back on the handle and not quite pinched up so you might have a little bit of power going on here as opposed to the pinch grip which is usually for like opening a package in my opinion you're just cutting in underneath the lip of the box and you really don't need a lot of power for that but if you do need some power but you're out on the tip using the tip to kind of get into like a tight spot but you need some force because it's like maybe rope or a strong material it works really well flat grind is really nice this came with the fantastic factory edge and the flat grind i mean the flat grind sorry the compound grind has a really thin hollow and it goes all the way up to the fuller just before the filler fuller do you start to feel it thicken up but all of this is nice and thin and consistent and even the flat out on the tip it starts a little bit thick here and it gets even thinner as you work your way out towards the tip so you got a lot of good sharp slicey cutting surface on there you got relief milling in here keeping it lightweight as well i do have skiffs on this one so the action is very smooth this is not a fall shut knife because it has a strong detent for all the deployment means but it is really smooth on the clothes and just a couple of shakes light shakes will close it or just one <laughs> i tapped the table i didn't hit it hard uh, but just one will really get it closed and it's so comfortable to use very fidgety and i think it's a really good looking knife as well i love this i think this is definitely i don't think i know this is my favorite design from emp edc so simple so tasteful but just all of this little knockdown <coughs> milling and chamfering and the lines on here they are perfect in my opinion i love this knife so if i love this knife what did i carry more than this you're probably asking maybe not i don't know <laughs> i actually carried a gift that was from my wife that i really love and it was you know just barely edging out that relative as my favorite knife that is the quiet carry nine this thing here is edc perfection it is thin but the contouring and the height combination make it feel nice and hand filling the jimping lands in a really good spot because the fingertips are hitting it and you're still getting a little bit of palm there's some micro milling here too so it keeps the titanium on the back from being completely slick my only critique would be to extend the jimping out and make it a little bit more aggressive not much it just needs a little bit because you can really fairly easily move around on it it'd be nice to have that for the control i'd also give some feedback to the taiwan plant at least for my variant the edge came kind of meh it was not very good i did end up throwing it on the kme and just 
touching it up a little bit and I've used it some since then, so I'm not 100% sure where we're at, but yeah, no, it feels, it feels fine. It feels fine now that I was able to touch it up. Um, I think the, uh, the only thing I probably could say, it is just an average geometry on here. I would like to have seen this come like thin, like you saw on the Sokoki that I had out here earlier. But outside of those small things, I just love everything else about this. This one is a guillotine. It will just absolutely close on its own, minimal to no effort. Love that. And it has some good sounds for being a smaller knife, like it's not as thick. Love that. Um, I like the pocket clip on here just a little bit better. It goes in and out really smooth, catches and has good edge retention. It doesn't jump or anything like that coming out of the pocket. Access to the lock bar is really good for coming in from the sides. Now, if you like to close like the European style and you're coming in on the top, you're not gonna be able to lay your thumb completely flat. You're gonna have to just come in at a little bit of an angle to do that type of close. But once you do that and you're past it, it works really good, guys. This is a phenomenal knife made in Taiwan and actually coming in a little bit cheaper than the relative, which is impressive because the relative is a Chinese knife, um, 20 CV on both knives. I don't know heat treat or anything like that off the top of my head. Both are really, really good, but you're getting a hollow grind with the compound grind on the relative, so it's a little bit more slicey feeling, but this is not anything to turn your nose up at. Um, if you were really feeling it, you could probably reach out to BGM and see if he could just go ahead and make this like a complete hollow ground knife. That to me would just take this over the top. This would be probably the best knife I've ever encountered for everyday carry. Not bruiser, not for a uh, bushcraft folder like a cold steel, but just an everyday carry knife with a little fidget factor, really good action, solid build and construction, and just a beautiful design. That is definitely gonna be hard to beat in the coming months. I've even picked up some other stuff that I really like that I just feel like don't compare to this knife right now. Right now, this is definitely my favorite. So that is number one, the Quiet Carry, the nine. Number two, the EMP EDC Relative. These are definitely my two favorite in the collection right now uh, for bolder, um, folder bearing knives that are affordable that are not USA made leading me to my favorite USA made knife which is going to be the Koenig Arius um, I love the size of this without the flipper super clean lines very comfortable in hand and just a phenomenal knife and in the budget realm you're looking at probably my two front runners for budget knives um, I like the Sokoki's size a little bit better but I like the build quality and toughness that the Moriaro has to it. I really do, I just realized I'm a little low on the camera, I apologize. I really do like that knife a lot. You're getting 14C, 28N from both, and it'd be hard to differentiate which one of these had the higher build quality. Um, sincerely, Migron has taken the feedback into heart and have done a phenomenal job bringing in a really well-built knife you're not getting my carta you're getting g10 but I, at that under 50 dollars price point man that is so impressive anyway what did you like out of the ones that i picked and what are your thoughts on any of these if you have them and or want them what are you carrying that you enjoyed the most in the month of april or just here in your pockets here recently that you've really been getting a kick out of carrying love to hear those things in the comment and uh see what you have to say about the stuff that i've been carrying too Shout out to everyone out there that leaves the likes, the comments, and subscribes. I appreciate the support for the channel, guys. It means the world to me. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.